Hello everyone, my name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This series is a series of plotting tutorials using Matplotlib in Python. Now, in this tutorial, we'll be looking at bar charts. Now, bar charts are very similar to the histogram plots. The only difference is that if you just have a single data series, let's say, then if you want to define the distribution, then you can use either bar chart or histogram. Histogram will give you a good spread, and bar chart will also give you a good spread. Now, if you imagine that, imagine that you have multiple data types. Meta data series and you want to see the distribution in all of them in a single shot then bar charts will be helpful for that there you instead of getting a distribution you will get an idea of how the spreads are and how the how the data has been uh, allocated in particular groups and all okay so that's the reason why we use bar charts you get a good distribution within the uh, multiple data types and you can see them in a single plot now we need as for the bar chart we need some data to plot so i just created some random range values some values on the x for the x axis which is going to be between 0 and 100 with 11 points in between them and i create some random numbers counts 1 counts 2 and counts 3 for the example and we'll talk about what these what these meant in in a second and now i also create some mid values over here the values about which the axis i mean you have to draw the bar chart and now to draw a bar chart is very simple. I just have it a plt dot bar, and then you give the give a va give a value. You just give you just give a value in the so that on top on uh, which you have to draw the bar, and then you specify the count. And now if I run this over here, and this is how my bar chart looks like. Okay, these bar charts are spl uh, spl put up in such a manner that they all start with the mid value over here. So if you look at it, this range valves has values like 0, 10, 20 and up like that. And then this line over here, the mid values will have a value something, will have values like 5, 10, 15, 20, I mean 5, uh, 15, 25 and so like that. This will be in steps of 5, steps of 10 starting from 5 and ending at 95. This will be in steps of 10 starting at 0 and ending at 100. So this will be 10, this will have 10 values. Okay, so this is how the plot looks like. And now, instead of using the classical st style, not lot of classical style, if I use the default style over here, if I use the default style over here, this is how I get my plot. Honestly speaking, it, this is not beautiful. Okay, at least in my opinion, it's not beautiful. Uh, you might you might like this, so I prefer to use the classical style. Nevertheless, you can use any style of your choice. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you're you know you're comfortable with it, you can just go on with it. And now what I've done here is in this plot, uh, we, we, we let's move, make this plot a little bit fancier by adding colors and a little more customization. We can add, we can change the color of this plot instead of blue by adding this option called as face color, just like how we did in histogram. And I put this to a chocolate color. So this is going to be a, a brown color, I mean a light brown color with a little bit of uh, yellow yellowish tinge. And I can actually set the bar width. By default, the bar width of the bar chart is actually width of the bars in the bar chart is actually one unit. Now I can actually set them to any unit I want with this option, and I can also set a label, okay, so that I can have it uh, have a label. Uh, I mean, I have a legend, and at the bottom, I don't have, no, what I have is I just have an X label, Y label, X title, grid, legend, and uh, legend and show. So if I run this over here, there you have it. Now I have the I have the bars colored as per my convenience, okay. And the values are centered around five. I mean, you might not notice, but it's actually centered on five, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-five, fifty-five, and so on and so forth. And I have the values colored as well, and I have a legend too. Sweet. And now, if I want to change the width, width I can actually do that. Let me if I put this width to be let's say two units. Check this out. Now if you look at it, the width has increased substantially, unlike the previous one, the width has increased a little more. And if you put the width to be something like 10, you will notice a big difference. Watch. Fair enough. And now if, I, now if you notice, the width actually increased substantially. And now you notice, hey, why is the bar centered around, uh, centered around 20, 40? Should, aren't they centered around 5, 15 and all? Yes, it does. The, actually, the bar the bar chart should be centered around 5, 15, and all. But the reason why it's showing up in, showing up like this is because of what you call as a small tweak in the plus plotting style. And if you use the classical plotting style, what happened is that the value you specify along the x-axis that becomes the leftmost edge of the bar chart. 
okay so the, so this bar chart over here this one this bar over here or which is on my leftmost edge this actually starts at 5 okay we would actually prefer this to be a little push towards my left okay towards my left so that this bar is centered around 5 let's do how let's see how that can be done that can be done by a small tweak at the bottom small tweak what i do is i just actually i just take the width okay i take the width and then uh, in the by calculating the mid values what i do is i just ca i just uh, subtract half of the width from each of these values okay so thereby the thereby you get pushed you get pushed at the you get pushed towards the left and now if i run this now if i run this the values are pushed towards the left a bit and if I, and uh, these labels are not not under my control so let's actually do that to have these labels under control what i do is i just enable the x x values over here now if i just put x values and this should be more than good but if i look at it the x values are between between like this so actually i want the x values to be centered around the mid value mid of it so that is easy what i have to do is uh, instead i'll just comment this particular line and then i just put x values plus half of bar bar width now here i subtracted half a bar width um, where did i i subtracted half of bar width over here and i added half of bar width over here so for the classical style and now if i run this okay there we go now it looks better now you can clearly see that this bar is this bar values are centered around 5 this is centered around 15 this is centered around 25 35 45 so on and so forth now this bar chart is you know we're very much under our under our control now this way you have an option to control and manipulate the tweaks okay now instead of this classical to classical style if what if i did this uh what if i did this with a default style and if i do that do that okay they're all pushed up pushed up a little odd uh, oddly okay now uh to uh, that that's because in the in the default style what what the default style this uh, setting is already taken care of this adjustment is already taken care of so you don't need to subtract bar half of bar width in the in the mid values over here and you don't have to uh, you don't have to you know add half a half of bar width in the x sticks you just have to you don't have, you can just directly use them as it is and this will take care of it so in the classical plot bar chart the bars will turn out to be perfect and the bars turn, will turn out to be perfect centered centered around these values perfectly and now if and now so in this case you don't have to do it so i just i'm just going to put a comment here so for default style and then i also at the bottom over here i'm going to put this for default style fair enough and now um what else shall what else shall we do and now some of you might be wondering like okay this is this is all perf this is all perfect you know how do i add error bars to it okay that that we'll do is it right now so let me use the bring the bring back the classical style okay so that you know the bar it's actually a little better so let me bring the classical style back okay you know if we run this is it working fine yes it does now it works fine and now if i can actually push the bar uh, i mean actually reduce the bar width instead of being a 10 let me put it around 5 so that there will be a little bit of space between them and there we go now this bar chart looks pretty neat okay you can just play around with the width and the edges to, uh, to convince yourself convince yourself with the best plot you can get up come up with okay now what i'm going to do what i'm going to do is uh, let's do add some error bars to it Sometimes in plots, what you'll have is that on top of the value, you'll have some uncertainty. So you might have, you might have need to put an error bar over there. So to put an error bar, it's fairly simple. You just comment out this particular line, comment out this particular line, and you just add this one more vari value. Y error, Y error equals errors. And this errors value over here, I'm setting it to be uh, 10 values, each of them having one. So and if I plot this one, there we go now the ha now we have an error bar to each and every plot over here okay this error bar is fairly uh, fairly big okay fairly big with respect to the data so let me just uh, minimize it instead of one let me put a point uh, point five 
okay point uh, point five. I think this should be small enough let's see yeah okay not bad some data are actually going to be small anyway so this way we actually have an error bar along with it what to understand this error bar okay value of this error bar what you have to do is you just have to understand what should be the max or uh, what should be the up, upper limit so so if i put 0.5 then this particular value over here from this percent from the peak of this bar till this end over here till the topmost of the error error uncertainty that is 0.5 so the from the so from bottom over here from bottom of from this point over here till the bottom the error is 0.5 so if your actual spread is actually one you just have to give 0.5 as your spread like a sp a spread okay if your actual spread is uh, uh, let's say a particular value you just have to give it the uh, error to be half of it thereby half of it will go up and half of it will go down okay and that is how you give an error bar over here to p okay now i'll actually stop with this we stop in this video uh, this is actually an explanation of how you can do a bar chart now in the next video i'll continue the, with the same example i'll proceed further and only ca and then in this case what i'm going to do is that i'm going to make sure that you uh, I'm, I'm going to give, expand on this example by adding more uh, multiple bar charts and see how that can be done all right now that's all i have for you all in this video thank you for watching i'll say see you all next time uh, next time in another interesting video till then take care